In this short video, we're going to look at how to calculate the mean titer. So this is often the first step in any titration calculation, and a mean is just a posh word for average. When we calculate the mean titer, we only use the closest titers to each other. So we assume these are the accurate ones. And there's a posh word for these results that are really close to each other. We call them concordant results. So if you look at this results table, the titer is just the difference between the final and initial burette reading. So the volume of solution in centimetres cubed. You can see we've got three results all together, including the trial run. So this is just the rough first run. And we've got 23.10, 22.30 and 22.35. These two are really close together within 0.05 of each other. So it's these that we use to calculate our mean. These are concordant results. This one we just ignore. So when you do a titration, ideally you want to achieve titers within 0.1 of each other. So that should be 0 0.10. Now titers are always given to two decimal places because we have to be really accurate when we're doing titrations and they always have to end in either a zero or a five because a burette can measure to 0 0.05. So to calculate our mean titer, what we do is add up our concordant results. So in this example, we've got two concordant results. And then we divide by the number of those concordant results we have. So we add the two together and divide by how many we've got, which is two. And our mean titer, our answer is given to one decimal place. So here in the table, they're given to two decimal places, but averages are given to one decimal place.